It's like, it's like catching fire. It's electrified. Those of you who are watching it there, just tell me if you can't see. This is high definition. Yeah. You have to spread the. The limbs there? It's HD. <laughs> so, that one is not trying to get that right. This one is 3D. This one is a pregnant female, guys. Oh, that's right. First thing is you have to pin the, the paws of the rat. Okay, so we hold it down here, pin at the paws, and then the hind paws. <laughs> Relax. Don't do that. Okay, good. Do what? He was like this to my head. That's good. Now, in the pregnant females, listen carefully, you can see the, um, uh, the nipples for the mammary glands. These are the nipples here. They have two rows of nipples. You can see a pair here. They're paired on either side. So there's a pair here, and then here there's another pair. And uh, you can count them on, if you have a female rat, you can count them. Mm -hmm. But there's about, what, one, two, three, four, five, about five pairs of nipples because they have multiple pregnancies, the rats. Now, to uh, dissect the rat, we're going to start here and uh, we're going to move up. Now, you can also go up into the thorax, which is here. This is the abdomen here. Now you get your forceps and the fine scissors. Can you all see? Watching, yep. Uh, lift the skin. We'll just remove the skin first, not the muscle. So you cut here. Uh, Hen Henny, do you have a blunt scissors? Blunt. Yeah, I've got the fine ones here. You know the big blunt ones? Now you make an incision with the uh, fine scissors. Oh, sorry, trying to get that off there. And then you lift the skin, and uh, I would put the uh, scissors, um, not cut, but place it under the skin, and just separate the skin from the, uh, the muscle, so that when you're cutting with the uh, scissors, you are not going to cut the muscle. Now, you notice this scissors has a fine, has a sharp and a blunt end. Insert the blunt end under the skin, because that uh, prevents damage to the muscle, and lift the skin up. So you're just cutting the skin and uh, not the muscle underneath it. So you can cut up here. We'll go right up into the thorax. Um, and uh, as I said, separate the skin from the muscle. So you can do it like this. You see how I'm spreading it like this? So I'm removing the connective tissue. Se there's connective tissue that connects the muscle to the, to the skin. Then cut along here, so you've got that end. Uh, let's move. See what I'm doing here, guys? I'm separating the muscle from the skin. You've got to do that. Uh, otherwise, when you cut, you'll be cutting the muscle. The muscle layer here is quite thin. Okay, so this is the abdominal muscles. And uh, it's also semi-transparent. You can see the uh, organs. Now, see, this skin is attached, so I'm just trying to get it uh, uh, removed like this. So I'm just separating the skin from the, the muscle like that. Okay, so it's a bit uh, tricky. I feel a camera on my head. <laughs> <laughs> see like that? So that's a good way to do it. So you just... You see the idea of doing that? So you're just cutting the... Uh, uh, just the just the muscle. So I just wanted to skin it, remove the skin first and show you. So a blunt end to separate the skin from the muscle. Okay, hang on. Just uh, cut this here. Okay. Excellent, guys. And then you can pin this back with some more pins. And he's given me some more pins here. We'll just pin there. Okay, I just wanted to show you that first. Now you can see the muscles, you can see some of the organs in here. This is a pregnant rat, so there's a lot of, uh, there'll be a lot of fetuses in there. And uh, you can see how the abdomen is really swollen with uh, the, the fetuses. Now let's uh, do that. Uh, now, 
Also, maybe identify some of the openings. So you've got um, uh, the uh, vaginal opening here, uh, the urethral opening, the urethra through which urine comes through, vaginal opening, and the anal opening. So three openings. We call them the urogenital uh, triangle, actually. So three openings. And then we will snip here, okay, to enter the abdominal cavity. And as I said, change to the blunt, the scissors with the blunt end, put the blunt end underneath, open it up, lift it up as you cut so you don't damage any of the organs underneath. And the fetuses, now I'm cutting up to the rib cage. See the rib cage is here, okay? Now I can go further and I will, when you go into the thorax, you'll find it's a little bit harder to cut, not too hard because you're cutting through uh, cartilage and bone, but it's actually not that, not too bad. So let's cut up here and open that up here. Now this layer here, just before I cut any further, this layer here is the diaphragm. This is the abdominal cavity and that's the thoracic cavity. Here's the diaphragm here that separates the two cavities. So I'm going to cut in here, take it right up, uh, cut this way, and we go this way. Okay, that's great. You see the muscle layers are not very thick, the wall of the abdomen, but of course it's also been stretched because this uh, female is pregnant. Now I think I'll just cut here under the diaphragm and pull that back for all of you to have a look at. So that's good. Now we can identify. Now look, there are a lot of fetuses in here. These are the fetuses here. Have a look. So many here. Uh, see, so many fetuses. Um, many. Now let's, uh, let's start up here. Uh, this dark red uh, organ here is the liver. Okay, we can just uh, move that out of the way. Okay, and if you move the liver out of the way, you'll find, watch, to the left of the liver, you'll find the, uh, the stomach here. Mm -hmm. See the stomach? There it is there, that's the stomach. 